Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News episode 75. So the last episode that I left, I left you guys was 74, duh. And uh, I showed you guys a little bit of SCCM. And I showed you guys how to get your client installation method set up. How to configure your client push installation. And also I went through all six discovery methods and how to configure it. Okay. Uh, with the magic of time, I kind of made everything work as fast as possible because I set all my my poll schedules to one hour. And um, this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to install or how to push the client agent to the machines, so the client can start gathering that information from the machines and start um, downloading it to the SCCM database. So, as you can see. I have uh, the system discovery method is already talking to Active Directory, is already pulling the machines, and it's time to push out a client. Now you can right click. I'm gonna. I only have one machine up and running, and it's this one right here. Uh, go to start, and I'm gonna go to computer, go to properties, and it's uh, BJ dash test O2, which is this one. I'm gonna right click on this, and I'm gonna install clients. Hit next. Uh, by default includes only client in the site's boundaries and also make sure always install repair upgrade existing client hit next hit finish and that's it now this right here is patience and I mean patience you have to be really really calm don't stress yourself out it normally takes the client normally takes about a couple of hours or a couple of days from my experience for the client to actually be installed on the client station um, don't get me wrong there are ways that you can push out the client with a GPO or a login script or you can just install it okay um, I'm going to right click on my collection and update my collection membership update all that stuff believe it or not it took me a while um, the client wasn't being pushed out as fast as I wanted throughout, you know, through SCCM. So I actually had to go to the machine and install it manually, which I'm also going to show you guys how to do it. But because it's already installed, uh, my column with well, the client should yet say yes. It's already installed, okay? Because I already installed it. I couldn't wait for the client to start talking to the machine and start installing all that stuff. So once the client is installed, you get the yes, and you're good to go. Now, by any chance, if you don't have the patience and you want the client to be installed right away, if you go into your your SCCM server, there's going to be a SMS BTN folder shared out. Within that folder, there's a client folder, and within that client folder, you're going to get the SCCM. Uh, I mean CCM setup file you double click on that it's gonna start up it takes about I would say a good two three minutes uh, you could you can actually go into your task manager and within task manager you're gonna see the CCM setup dot exe asterisk 32 you're gonna see the asterisk 32 because there's a 32 bit application on the Windows 764 and once that sets up you're gonna see this now if you see this that means the client is installed. Uh, sometimes it takes a while for the clients to start talking to the SCCM uh, manager, but for me, I kind of I got lucky and it right away started talking to each other and all the policies started hitting the machine. So to actually look at the client, go to go to Control Panel. Now within Control Panel, uh, new things. I think there's four things that get installed automatically when you start when you install the client. You're gonna get the configuration manager. That's one. The program download monitor. Uh, I think the other one is run advertised programs, and I think the last one is remote control 32-bit. Those are the four things that are installed for you when you install the client. Now, when we double-click on the configuration manager 32-bit, there you go. Okay. Uh, it tells you the version. It tells you the the AD site name, uh, the site code, which is BTN. In my case, is BTN. Uh, full qualified domain name, IP address. I'm logged in as this administrator. 
Uh, it's on mix mode. These are the components that are being pushed out to this machine. Awesome. These are the actions. Okay. Advance. Uh, site code automatically is there. Updates. Configuration. And that's it, guys. That's how you push out the client to the machine. That's how the client looks when it's actually talking to the SCCM. And uh, hopefully, I think on the next episode, let me check my notes. The next episode, I'm going to actually go over how to create a package and advertise the package to your machines. All right, guys. So thank you so much. Please leave comments below, right below this video. Leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think, as well as the very top right there. There's a subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button to get the latest, greatest tips and reviews on software and hardware. And as well, if you enjoy this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. Show me that you enjoyed it. Thank you, guys, and I'll catch you later. Subscribe! Thank you.